Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create these four watercolour patterned super sparkly nail designs. So I'm going to show you what products I used. So I'm going to be using these Sharpie markers in an array of different colours. You can use whatever colours you want. I'm also going to be using the Magpie Beauty Illustrator Nail Art Brush as well as the Magpie Nail Art detailer brush for this tutorial. Next up I'm going to need the Accents Gel Play Glitz gels. They are like a foily consistency and the three colours I'm using are up on screen now. You have white gold leaf, rose gold leaf and 24 karat gold leaf. You will also need a stamping plate of your choice. I'm using this one from Beauty Big Bang, it's XL011. They very kindly sent me this stamping plate along with some others, so I'm just gonna quickly show you them because they are beautiful. So they come in this gorgeous packaging with a little diagram on the back on how to use them. And as I've already shown you, the one I'm using was on screen a minute ago. So these are the other stamping plates that they very kindly sent me. They have some gorgeous gorgeous cute little animal images. This is one of my favourites, the one full of pandas. Some awesome patterned plates as well as some lace designs and some floral images. So starting off with the first design, using my Sharpies I'm just going to apply a load of the hot pink colour over the nail in random splodges. If you haven't used Sharpie art before with your nails it is so much fun and so creative. I highly recommend getting a pack of Sharpie pens, they are not that expensive and having a play with them is so much fun. So applying those three colours randomly to the nail, I'm now using that brush to apply some alcohol to the nail to disperse that sharpie around and it kind of bleeds and gives that watercolour effect. It is beautiful, don't play with it too much because you will lose the majority of the colour. The more you alcohol you use, the more bleeded out of an effect it creates. So I've left at that and let it dry. I'm now going in with the white gold leaf accent gel and using my Magpie detailer brush to apply this in kind of swirly stripes along the nail and then I'm going to blend out the edges to make it a little bit more sporadic and splattery effect. I will then cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds and that will be ready for the design to go on top. So now we're going on to the second design and I'm just using this dark burgundy colour and applying it into the bottom right hand side of the nail using that alcohol and my Magpie Illustrator brush to bleed that out a little bit. I want to keep this Sharpie colour focused in the bottom right hand corner because I want to use a floral image over the top and have it almost coloured the flower if that makes any sense. I'm then going to go in with another layer of the Sharpie. What's nice about this is you can build colour, so it makes these really super easy to use. If you've washed too much of that colour away, you can always go in and add some more. Really super easy to create funky watercolour designs with Sharpies. So now I'm going to go back in with some of that Gel Play Accents gel and I'm going to use the rose gold colour with my detailer brush and apply it to the bottom right hand corner and bring it a little bit out like in a sparky firework kind of pattern and that nail is ready for a design to go on top. So next design is my favourite, I've used a ton of different colour Sharpies and splodged a couple of bits onto the nail. All of these designs I have got white gel polish as my base on, so you can do whatever colour base you want, but with Sharpies I find it's good to have a white base because you want the colours to pop and stand out. I have not tried this with normal nail varnish, so I don't know how this would work, so this is on a gel polish white base. So after applying all of those colours of Sharpie, I'm now going in with my brush and that alcohol and just dispersing those colours working one colour by one from darkest to lightest and spreading them out so that they blend really nicely together. I'm then going to go in with the Accents Gel Play in gold, the 24 karat gold, and I'm using my Magpie Detailer Brush to apply this. 
to a few areas and almost outline it but in a more natural way I want it to be kind of really messy and not quite perfect and I almost love how this nail looks as it is and you totally could leave these nails and designs as they are and not add the design on top the black print on top because that does just look beautiful as it is but with that being said I'm going to show you one more sharpie nail up design so with this colour I'm just spiralling it round on the nail and then I'm going in with another colour which is a pale yellow and colouring in the gaps where I didn't put the green I'm then going to go in with my brush and the alcohol and disperse that out and make it bleed into each other and create a really beautiful swirly watercolour effect I'm then going to go in with the Accents Gel Play Foil Gel in 24 karat gold and use the detailer brush to just swirl it around the nail in that same pattern as what I applied the Sharpies in. So just swirling it around and then I'm going to go in with the Magpie Illustrator brush and smudge it out and make it a little bit more fuzzy looking so the foil leafy bits will spread out over the whole entirety of the nail. So there you have all four designs ready to go with the stamping design on top. As I said previously, you could just leave them like this, they look beautiful as they are, but I am going to go in with some stamping. So I am using the Beauty Big Bang XL011 stamping plate and just some black stamping polish. I am scraping that bottom right image of a little flower design, picking it up on my stamper and placing it on the nail and it creates a really beautiful quirky floral design rather than just stamping this image down with just the outline. Having that sharpie and that foil gel underneath creates some dimension and layers and really creates a beautiful effect. So on to the next one, again I'm using the black stamping polish, I will be using black stamping polish for every single design and using this gorgeous butterfly image, I think this is the favourite on the plate and applying this to my pink and silver sparkly nail, it creates a beautiful effect, again creating those layers and it creates a multi-dimensional look. Applying top coat to all of these designs, I do go in with two layers of top coat, curing for 60 seconds between each layer in my LED lamp and that seals in that design perfectly you get no chipping whatsoever no color fading of the sharpies so make sure you are top coating twice to really seal that design in next design we are using this shattered glass image on the top right hand side of the plate I think they are meant to be flowers but in my opinion it looks like shattered glass and I think it gives a really awesome effect with the silver foil coming through underneath I love any type of textured images or patterns I think they look really awesome with bright colors showing through underneath again top coating and curing in my lamp for 60 seconds <music> Last but certainly not least, we have this beautiful image here. It reminds me of like dandelions blowing in the wind. I love this pattern, especially with the multicolored pops and gold coming through the background. I think it looks really awesome. All of these images picked up really well on my stamper, which is the Dixie Plates stamper. They picked up really crisply, really perfectly, and the stamping plate worked really, really well, so I highly recommend Beauty Big Bang stamping plates. I will link in the description box where you can find these stamping plates, as well as my discount code, which I will put up on screen now for you. They worked really well, and they look so funky with the Sharpie nail art underneath. So there you have all four of the designs. You could create some awesome multicolored watercolour floral images the options are endless for sharpie nail art and also using stamping over the top so i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful thank you so so much for watching like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>